This week on Health Decoder. Why does marijuana give you the munchies? Anyone who's ever come home to find the fridge empty and their stoned roommate passed out on the couch has heard about these munchies. But it turns out your stoned roommate didn't just make them up. He really couldn't stop himself from eating that cake you made for your mom's birthday. Even after you spent all that time making it. Here's why. The active ingredient in Mary Jane, Delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, triggers the part of your brain that says, Hey, we need food, man! Now normally your brain sends out that message in response to an empty stomach, but THC changes how and when your brain releases that hunger signal. And instead of feeling hungry on an empty stomach, your brain now tells you, Hey, you know what would be great? That can of expired frosting that you never threw away! Oh, and some beef jerky! Oh, and some pickles! Oh, actually, take two pieces of the beef jerky and then put pickles in there in between them. With some frosting on that, you make like a, a beef jerky and pickle sandwich with frosting on it. So this is beef jerky instead of bread. <gasps> actually, get some bread too. But THC does more than add layers of pudge to jam band loving hippies. It also makes the foods you like taste better. Hence the expired frosting. Smells fine to me, man! <laughs> Scientists discover THC increases the pleasurable response to eating or drinking sugar. Normally when you eat sugar, it induces a rewarding feeling due to the release of dopamine. In the presence of THC, significantly more dopamine is released inside the brain. It's the same food you always eat, it's just your brain is now saying that the burrito you're craving is some sort of magic burrito, hand-rolled by Zeus himself. Yeah! Hand-rolled with lightning! <laughs> Flavor lightning! <laughs> Shut up, brain. It's this increased response to food and the flood of dopamine that makes the reefer work wonders on the suppressed appetites of terminal cancer patients. A Canadian study even showed that 75% of cancer patients who had taken the THC pills said their food tasted better, versus 30% of patients who had taken a placebo pill, making it the dankest study of all time. And doctors continue to study THC's effect on the brain, hoping to reverse engineer its effects to help treat obesity. So the next time your roommate claims it's not his fault there's no food in the fridge, Remember, he's doing the best he can to deal with terminal cancer. Oh wait, he's not sick? Well yeah, screw that guy, buy a lock for the fridge. Or get him to share. That's all for this week on Health Decoder. Be sure to subscribe for more Health Decoder episodes.